What brings you to the temple, diviner? Have you been lax in your duties? An outlander taking an interest in our faith. It is truly a blessed day. As a matter of fact, I have something for you to do. I need you to collect donations for the temple. We're fortunate, here in Huan Oak, to receive a great many visitors taking the pilgrimage of Vilatha's path. It's the generosity and the frequency of such pilgrims that allows us to do our charitable work. Go and speak to the pilgrims shake them down. Ha, I'm kidding. I'm sure they'll be very happy to make a donation to our temple. You haven't collected any donations yet, Diviner. Don't worry, the pilgrims walking the path are very friendly. And they're expecting you. It is both the most important road, and the most significant pilgrimage, in all Mora Wind. It traces the path Saint Vilith led our ancestors on when they first came to this land. It starts in the mountains near Cratenmoor and then passes through Otherleth Woods and Huan Oak. When it leaves our town it continues north and crosses the Thur River at Almas Thur, passes through Almalexia itself, and then follows the eastern coastline up to Necrom. Speak to Falms Tyrians if you want to buy food. Is there I'm something sorry. I can do Warrior for you, Alcanda? I'm not in the mood to talk to strangers, unless you've somehow found my lost amulet. Oh, it's nothing much. Just a little trinket with a small enchantment on it. But I had it for a long time, and I suppose I got attached to it. And now Ernil and I are stuck here in Hlan Oak because I can't bear the thought of heading on to Almasther without it. You will? Oh, thank you so much, Warrior of Spell. Maybe this will help you, I first noticed it was missing when Ernil and I came back to the temple after browsing the outdoor market in the upper district. I sat down on the bed here, and it wasn't around my neck, and it wasn't in my satchel. Ernil and I have turned this room over a hundred times. Maybe I lost it at the market? Have you found it? That's fine. Maybe I should give up on it. I shall honor our friendship too. Anything for you, my friend. Is there Are something I can do for you? Outlander. My companion and I are walking Vilatha's path. Kind of you to go looking for it, but in a town like this, let's just say I don't think it's been lost. Your words, they make me feel, well, special. I feel the same way. It's been some time now for me. Anything for you, my friend. I've already given you my donation. Welcome, Outlander. What brings you to Hlan Oak? Are you walking Vilatha's path too? Thank you. We are truly friends, anything for you, 
My friend. How wonderful. Welcome out. Tell your friends about this place. Welcome to the Temple of Huan Oak. Do you wish to purchase some food for the table, or rations for the journey onward? The Thur River blesses us with a reliable source of food, so most meals involve slaughter fish or sturgeon. But we also take advantage of the many traders passing through Huan Oak by ship or on foot, and buy local crops and produce. We also offer some alcoholic drinks for purchase in moderation, of course. Blonde Oak. Are you walking via this patch? I feel the same way. It's been some time now for me. Anything for you, my friend. I want that. Well, hello there. A Blonde pleasure Oak. to meet you. Are you walking via this path too? My husband and I are pilgrims from Cyrodiil, walking via this path. We only just arrived in Blonde Oak. I'm sure someone down by the docks can entertain you with gossip. I am a noble, elevated by birth and distinction to the a rare thing indeed. But I shall honor our friendship too. Anything for you, my friend. It's good to stay in one place for a bit. We rushed through Craton Moor and along the rest of Belitha's path on the way here, because my husband was so eager to see the Thur River. Well met, Ada. My wife and I are visiting the land of my Dunmer ancestors. We've already witnessed the majesty of the Thur River, and now we're hoping someone at the temple here in Huan Oak can give us a guided tour. My ancestors left for Cyrodiil three generations ago. I never met my great-grandparents, but their tales of Morrowind were like treasures to my family. My wife and I decided to walk Belitha's path in their memory, and to learn more about my ancestral homeland. I was eager to see the Thur River, which was at the heart of their stories, but now we're here there is so much more to see. We need someone familiar with the local customs to show us around. I thought, perhaps, someone at the temple could help. You're a member of the temple and would be willing to serve as our guide? Splendid. The first place I want to visit is the temple here in Huan Oak. We passed by other temples on the way here, but we haven't had the time to take a proper look at one. I'm a devotee of the Nine myself, but I wish to learn more about the faith of my ancestors. We'll go in and have a look around. Please, meet us inside once you're ready. My wife and I are pilgrims from Cyrodiil, walking Belitha's path. Meet us inside the temple once you're ready. People have warned me that I should be careful in this place, but what I've seen so far has been pleasant enough. I wouldn't know. We only just arrived here. Magnificent, is it not? I paid one of the fisherfolk to take us out on the river proper. To see it with my own eyes was one of the reasons I came to Morrowind. My great-grandparents were traders on this river, in service to some local lord, before they emigrated to Cyrodiil following the signing of the armistice. My late grandfather talked about it all the time. Parroting stories his own father told him, of course he had never seen it for himself, either. That's our eventual destination. I know my great-grandfather brought his wife's ashes back to Morrowind after her death, while my grandfather remained in Cyrodiil. He passed there himself not long after. They were the last of my family to have set foot in our ancestral home province, and I hope to find some records of their lives and deaths in Necrom. Yes, later. I'd love to. Anything for you, my friend.
Don't bother me now. I have to win this. What brings you to Huan Oak? Are you walking Vilatha's path too? Yes, later, I'd love to. Anything for you, my friend. A warm welcome to you. What brings you to Huan Oak, Outlander? Do you need help finding a specific place, or someone in particular? I see pilgrims come by my stall every day. I've seen pilgrims with peg legs and eye patches. I've seen Klansmer from the Deshan interior and Sheenathai still with the red desert sand on their boots. Do you really expect me to remember some girl with an amulet? Yes, Outlander, what may what I do for you? brings you to Huan Oak, Outlander? Do you need... No, I don't sell amulets. I sell tableware. Yes, Outlander, what, what may I do for you? Are you walking Vilatha's path to thank you? We are truly friends. Anything for you, my friend. What can I do for you, Diviner? I remember those pilgrims, yes. The young lady asked me to say a blessing over her amulet and then her friend complained of the heat and they decided to sit under the shade of that tree behind my stall. She tucked the amulet into her satchel before they left. I'm saddened to hear that she lost it. It obviously means a lot to her. Her hands trembled as she passed it to me. brings you to Blonde Oak. Are you walking? I feel the same way. It's been some time. Anything for you, my friend. A warm welcome to you. What brings you to Blonde Oak, Outlander? Three blessings. Three blessings. Yes, Outlander, what may I do for you? Is there something I can do for you? Three blessings. A warm welcome to you. How wonderful! It's so kind of you welcome, to look for my lost amulet. 
So you spoke to the preacher in town? Now I remember after I had him bless the amulet, Ernil, and I went to sit under the shade of that tree. But my sandal was untied, and then, and then we stopped by the sewer grate behind the market stall so I could tie it up. I do hope I didn't drop it down there. I've heard it's quite dangerous. Please, if you are going to go looking around under the city, be careful. What brings you to Huan Oak, Outlander? I do remember stopping by the sewer grate so Gamey could tie up her sandal. If you are thinking of sewer diving to find that amulet, then you are braver than I am. A warm welcome to you. Go away. This isn't a safe place for outlanders. Hello, Diviner. Your current task is to collect donations for the temple. How's that going? You've collected 720 drakes so far, Diviner. Are you finished? Excellent work, Diviner. Keep a little for yourself, you've more than earned it. Are you ready to take on some more challenging duties? Fear not, Diviner. The donations you collected are being put to good use. Your talents are noteworthy. It's so kind of you to look for my lost amulet. Have you found it? It. It is. Oh, blessings of the three on you, warrior of spell. Please take this and my thanks. Now Ernil and I can finally get a move on to Almas Thur. I know he'll be relieved. It's such a small thing. Not very valuable. At least, not to most people. How wonderful. What Welcome brings you to Outland. Oak? Ow, I can't believe you found it. Thanks to you, our pilgrimage to Necrom can continue. Temple, Tithe or Toll. Nivis Sirthran, the master of the Tribunal Temple in Hlan Oak, has asked me to collect donations from the pilgrims passing through town. I've collected more than 50 gold in donations for the temple. I've collected more than 100 gold in donations for the temple. I've collected more than 200 gold in donations for the temple. I've collected more than 350 gold in donations for the temple. I have returned to Nivis Sirthran with the donations I collected. He allowed me to keep a fraction.